Spring practice number eight in the books for Nebraska. Hi, Sean Callahan with HuskerOnline.com. We caught up uh, with a few different Husker coaches and players following practice. Let's first start at the running back position. Running backs coach EJ Barthel uh, spoke to the reporters and described his group right now. To me, you know, I know we've got some guys that have some playing experience, but you know, I think we're still really in the, in, in the development phase right now. I think the, the important part is, uh, you know, we're having a little success at practice, but the reality is we have a lot of work to do from a developmental standpoint, right? You know, and we're going to dissect the whole, the whole process with these guys. Um, and it starts with eye development, understanding the run game, you know, understanding the blocking schemes, and just being really detailed. I think the key to the position is being a detailed, oriented player based upon pass protection, um, understanding front structure and, and where your eyes are, where the ball is supposed to insert. It's a lot of teaching, you know what I mean? It's, and it's, it's a lot of information that they got the process. So uh, we're still in the development phase, but overall as a group, I think we're, we're, um, we're pretty good right now when, with our, pro, our progression. And one of those guys that's come back strong after an injury at the end of the 2021 season and played limited a year ago is Gabe Irvin Jr. Uh, Gabe's been doing great so far. You know, um, he's a big back. Um, uh, he's running behind his pads right now. Um, and again, just like the rest of the guys, I think he's still developing his eyes and still developing his arsenal, right? The whole running back menu, right? There's a lot of things that he's got to work on from a technique standpoint that we're really adamant about. And for us, the position's about the little things and making sure that we master the little things. The beauty of, of, of uh, getting a chance to coach with Coach Rule at Carolina and being assistant running backs with, 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 with uh, Christian McCaffrey, I learned how to be a better coach because Christian was such a detailed player, right? And he really was uh, – um, you know, very insane about the small details that maybe some people don't pay attention to. So we're, 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 we are really dialed into the little things, right? Alignments, hand placement, eyes, where they're supposed to be on each play, the progression of the play. Um, really just trying to challenge them to really get the whole deal, the whole package. Barthel also spoke highly about Anthony Grant. Anthony Grant is, um, you know, to me on the field, he's, he's a warrior on the field. He, he plays, he, he loves football. I know that kid, he loves football. He loves running the football. I mean, he loves the game. Um, and, and the reality is he's got a lot, lot of ability where he's an ex explosive athlete. So the big thing for us right now is, again, kind of introducing the playbook, the new style of running, the new scheme, and preparing him for camp. You know what I mean? And, and the reality is, like, he, he's, he's, again, like the rest of the guys, have not had a significant amount of playing experience. He, last year he ran for, I think, 990 yards, something like that. But that was his first year, right, doing that in his career, if I'm right, right? So he's still very, you know, again, we just talked about the details, right? We have to teach the details. It's not just about how hard you can run at the position, right? You don't want, with running backs, you never really want to try to teach them how to run the football, right? You want to show them, like, where to run the football. Does that make sense? Like, they need to understand the, the philosophy of where the ball is supposed to insert, the timing, the blocking scheme, where their eyes are on the reads. So um, Anthony, is, he's just like the rest of the guys. He's, he's in that, that progression and development process right now. It's also a special teams day for Nebraska. We caught up with special teams coordinator Ed Foley. The group's been good. They they you know they work hard. They know how to work. Um, they listen. They want to be good. They play hard. So that usually leads to good special teams play. I think we'll be we'll be in good shape when it's all said and done. You know, me just trying to learn the players and and kind of their attributes um, is something that's an ongoing process. So you know, we're working on that. I, it's been good. It's been fun and. and uh, you know, the periods have been competitive and the drills have been competitive. We've done mostly drill work, but um, I'm excited for the group. You know, Nebraska has added a pretty good punt returner to the roster in Billy Kemp the fourth. He's one of many guys trying to lock up that position. Billy's been good. Like, and, the, and, and Billy's, again, the, the, the thing that's impressed me about Billy and, all, and really all these guys is, you know, Billy's a worker. Like, he's working at, um, you know, different aspects and wants to be challenged. So, like, He's not out there catching punts in, in the, in the pre-practice. He's out there um, saying, okay, I'm going to position myself 15 yards over to the left and I'm going to come, you know, I'm gonna come back and get, get, get square on the ball. And he made a comment to me about getting square on the ball. It was, it was actually a, a kickoff return, but he was talking about you know, wanting to try to make sure that he was going to get square on the ball as, as one of his goals. So you know, he's, working on his, he's working on his craft uh, all the time. He obviously brings some juice to the return game. Uh, and there's a few guys, I, the competition's gonna be intense um, when it's all said and done for the first game next year. You know, we're a long way away from that, but like there's a couple guys uh, uh, that can return the ball and he's, he's certainly one of them. Punter Brian Buscini has also been impressive. They worked on pooch punting and fully shared an interesting story from practice on Tuesday. Uh, Buscini's had a great week. 
uh, this week has been really good. Like he, he he's really uh, technical in his approach. So we we've been focusing on um, on pooch punting in the last two practices, and I don't know if. If, if, you, if you have an appreciation for pooch punting, but if you do, he put on a clinic on Saturday um, with his pooch punt. I said, I want you to drop the ball on the eight yard line. And I think he had 10 kicks and I think four of them dropped exactly on the eight yard line. Like that's like Johnny Hecker stuff. And then he, I, I didn't get the markings today, but the balls look good. And today he had to deal with some, he dealt, dealt with wind on both days. Um, but but he's he really talented. He, he has good uh, command of where the football's gonna go. Uh, there's some things, and again, he's like Timmy, where you know he's got some things that he needs to work on that we're that we're working on. And usually with the with the punters, if you just think about the the art of punting, it's like it's, it's like hitting a golf ball, but you're dropping the golf ball. Like it's really that technical. So like he's dropping the ball, and normally he's he'll, you know if he's if he's not catching clean or he's not getting it down, you know he's dropping it one way or the other. Usually it's inside, but we're always looking at at the drop. So he's constantly you know looking at his drop and his steps because it's all got to time up that way. So. Um, it's extremely technical, and he's he's really he's he's got he's advanced, but he's also learning, and he's and he's watching film, and we're looking at things together, and um, you know it's been great to work with him as well. Yeah, I'm really excited um, to work the directional punting game a lot more this year. Um, that's something that's really important in the NFL to limit returns. Those uh, returners are dynamic, obviously. Um, other things they talk about, the whole staff talks about, is being a pro, having a process, um, coming in each and every day having a routine and being committed um, because anyone can do great things. Anyone can work hard for a short period of time. But the guys that last a long time in the NFL, um, they do it consistently day after day. And that's something I'm working on, and I know a lot of the guys on the team are working on is just having a process, um, coming in each and every day and you know, doing the same warm-up, you know, building a nutrition program, building a strength program, finding good recovery methods that work for our bodies, all sorts of different things that a lot of guys and the pros do. We're trying to build that um, in our team, um, and that's something that I think Coach Foley um, really learned in his time in the NFL. Starting kicker Timmy Bleakroad also returns, and thus far Foley likes what he's seen. Timmy, Timmy's, Timmy's a pro. Like the, the whole group, they're, they're pros, but Timmy's a pro. Like he goes out there every day with something to work on, which, which I really like about him. So he's like, today, Coach, I'm going to work on this. And, you know, I sit, we sit there and we look at it real closely. And then when it comes time for the film, and then that's one thing we're trying to focus on is like, here's what we're going to do. We're going to work on something. But, but he comes ready to work every day. Um, and it's not just, you know, you, everyone's going to look at like the field goals and, and that there's a, there's a whole other part uh, of things that he's working on right now. We were, t- you know, today we were working on onside kick. Um, we got some kickoffs. That, you know, we went over to the stadium and got a couple of kickoffs today. So we haven't done much live kickoff work. Um, we've done a, some approach work and, you know, like I said, he's a pro because he's out there saying, okay, I'm, I'm going to be a 10 step approach on my kickoff. I want to have my plant foot here. So we've been working on that and, and filming it and trying to just get better. But Timmy's a pro. He's great to work with. And Bleak Road obviously knows the situation at kicker. The Huskers did sign Tristan Alvano as well in the recruiting class. He's prepared for a battle all the way until the start of this 2023 season. In terms of just the new, bringing in a new kicker, competition never hurts. So, I mean, Iron sharp, sharpening iron, really, in my opinion. So it'll be fun to work with him, bringing in a young kicker and just getting to know him and kick with him. And it never hurts having good kickers on the, on the roster. So. And then finally, we did catch up with edge rusher Jamari Butler as well. I feel great because we have, we have a lot of recovery days. So it ain't just grind, grind, grind. Like they give us days to recover. So I honestly feel great. Butler is hoping to get a hold of one of those starting spots now on the defense after playing behind some veteran players the last few years. This defense is a lot of moving pieces, a lot of disguising. And sometimes you can tell like it misses with the QB because they don't know whether I'm going to rush or I'm going to be in coverage. Or they don't know if a safety is going to come or if he's going to be in coverage. So just like the disguise of it. The Huskers are scheduled to practice again on Thursday. That will be their final practice of the week as they observe the Easter holiday. With the Huskers and Lincoln, I'm Sean Callahan for HuskerOnline.com.